Hello people, a long time no see. In this video we will review Afterfish 1.12 with all its new features and also talk about the issues you might run into by using the bot. Before we do this, I want to thank everyone who support the project by liking, subscribing and donating. I also want to ask you in advance not to abuse this bot. Not only you will spoil the game for other players, but you will probably be banned for this. So please, use it sparingly. Alright, let's start from the beginning. After we launch the bot, we open the game, go to video settings and switch to DirectX 11. The library the bot uses can't work properly with DirectX 12, so if you didn't switch to DirectX 11, the bot is not going to work. Next, we focus the window of the bot and click on this button. Fishing zone is mobile and resizable now, so move it and resize it so that no red or blue colors except feathers on the bobber are in this zone. By doing so, you can also fish in very small areas like fountains in Dalaran and so on. You can reset it to default value by clicking on this button. So, you assigned your fishing and loose keys properly and now if you don't care about filtering the loot, all you need to do is turning on auto loot. After that, the bot is ready and you can use it. Let's make a very quick Five second demonstration. You are probably wondering what did I mean by filtering. Well, the bot can recognize the load you are catching and filter it as you need. To make it possible, you need to turn off UI scaling if you have one, then go and turn off auto load and turn on open load window at mouse. Then we write what we want to catch separated by comma. Let's again make a very quick demonstration. Now let's talk about threshold section. Many people still don't understand how it works. So if the feather is bright, you can increase threshold to make the bot avoid the same color of the environment. For example, if you fish in Durata, the grounds are reddish. And the other way around, if the feather is dim and dark, you need to decrease the threshold so that the bot can find the feather and the bobber. For example, if you fish in North Rent or at night. By clicking on this switch, you can choose between red and blue feathers. And the threshold will correspond to the color you choose. In some reddish zones like Durata, it might be better to use blue switch. But in most cases red feather should do. If we started talking about the feather, always mind the lighting. From one position the feather might be brighter, from the other it might be dimmer. So find the position where the bobber is as bright as possible. There are also new miss on purpose and logout login features. You should use them if you play on official servers to decrease chances of being detected. It would be even better if you always change miss on purpose value per fishing session. Today you fish at 10%, tomorrow at 5% and so on. Logout login feature will randomly choose some time after which the bot will log out, wait a little, log back and continue fishing. Next logging in will be again after some random generated time between these two wallets. Now again, let's make a very quick test. A few moments later. You can also control the bot from Telegram. First of all, you need to find bot father and create a new bot. You choose a name, then you should imagine some gibberish link to your bot and copy paste the token bot father gave you. Right here. Click connect and wait a little until the button changes to done. Now you open the bot and press start command. You have a bunch of simple commands here. You can start the bot, stop the bot, check the stats, quit the game and also whisper to other players. Ok, now about whispering. The bot also can detect if someone whispers to you. So first of all, you need to set chat zone so that the zone is exactly over your chat. Then you might tweak whisper color if you don't use a default one. You can also turn off all the other chats to make it easier for the bot to recognize whispering. Again, let's make a very quick test whether it works. It is a pixel bot, so it works with any World of Warcraft, official and private. It is mostly undetectable with all its different randomization options, but let's not talk about disclaimers here. It's 2022 and everyone who uses bots should understand the risks. So don't ask me stupid questions like, will I be banned for using this? If you ask such a question, then yes, you will be. The bot also works with multiple windows, watch my previous videos of Afterfish for an example. You just open the multiple windows and the bot will switch between them and fish. Whispering from Telegram won't work properly in this case. 
If your game is launched as administrator, the bot should be launched as administrator too. This is mostly important for people who use the bot on private servers. Confirmation of sell bot items works only for English language right now. Use add-ons like Outer Looter if you need that confirmation and play on some other language. You can stop the bot by pressing spacebar. In the next updates I will make it custom. Well, that's it. If I didn't mention something, you'll find it in the guide. Thanks everyone who became a member of my GSBoss community on Buy Me A Coffee. I really appreciate your support. I'm working on some new projects that will be open source yet without interface. The full version with interface will be available only for members, as well as early access to these projects. I also want to salute the people who paid for the bot, even though it's free, even one dollar. People who appreciate the work of others always deserve respect. Thanks for watching.